Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash, I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD for Friday. If you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, as we all know that after NFP, after CPI, there is heavy pressure on dollar, US dollar, as a result of which we can see a free fall on the chart. At first, after the NFP and CPI, gold also responded pretty well to its correlation with US dollar. But dollar is still falling, but we can see on the chart of gold that gold is sideways. Unlike the other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, all are flying because dollar is moving down. In fact, dxy has reached double digit okay it has uh, crossed the 100 level also and as expected as discussed okay right now dxy is trading in double digit right now so things are still not very positive if we look at the daily chart then we can see that on a daily chart we don't have any immediate resistance if dxy tries to recover also during the day then there is a good chance that the recovery will not be a good enough and all the resistances whether it's a minor level major level every resistance will work because this is a seller's market in fact the biggest resistance on the chart of dx will be 100.80 this is not only for gold my dear friends if you're trading on any us dollar pair then this level will be very very important for you so that you can plan your trades accordingly now uh, let's look at the chart of gold. Okay. So as I said, unlike other dollar pairs, gold is not responding well to the DXY right now. And we can see that gold is trading in a range here. Yesterday, as expected, there was a fall and our support level worked perfectly. We got a perfect bounce from a support here. But the support did not uh, last long. Not last long. Okay. Actually, the support was not a long lift. Okay, and still we can see that gold is trading inside the range only. The range of 1963 or 1964 on the upside. Let's consider it as 1964. Okay, 1964 on the upside and 1952 on the downside. This is the range of gold right now. And as long as market is trading inside the range here, you can consider the market to be sideways. But yes. As market has shown extreme upside and as market is struggling here, there is also a possibility that by the European session or US session, there may be a drop in the market as well. So listen to me properly. Okay. So in case there is a big sudden drop on the chart of gold, then you can look for a quick sell position below the yesterday support here. You can look for a quick scalping sell below 1951 1950 level and you can expect a profit of 20 to 30 pips it can be a quick sell position because you cannot deny the fact that overall the market is still bullish and we can't deny it so in case market breaks 1951 50 you can look for a quick sell position for 20 pips and try to exit immediately because market may simply go for stop loss hunting here stop loss hunting is a bitter reality of the market and we will have to accept it so in case market goes down Okay. market may go for some stop loss hunting in that case if you're looking for a proper trade then it is better to buy at retracement only because you need as a trader you need to consider all the aspects of the market for first of all you need to consider the overall trend of the market right now the trend is changing the market is towards the upside so as a result buying at retracement is the best trading strategy here so where is the buy, where is the retracement level the first retracement level will be around 1940 why 1940 because the previous resistance will be working as uh, support here along with that we also have the 100 moving average so if we consider 100 moving average the dynamic support and the previous resistance here 1940 seems to be a legit level in case there is a big drop market goes for some sl hunting and all 1940 can be a good level to buy but before 1940 level we also have 1945 as the support as well 1945 to 1947 precisely 45 47 is a good level also on the chart of gold because of fibonacci 
see this is the Fibonacci retracement here and you can see around 1947 we have Fibo 38 sorry 23.6% retracement level so two levels we have for retracement purpose 47 45 to 47 and 1940 41 level okay but as I said there is a possibility that market may go for some stop loss hunting as well market manipulation stop loss hunting are bitter realities of the market and we will have to accept it so in case market goes for stop loss hunting also it is better to buy a retracement only and if you are a risk taker if you have the daredevil kind of an attitude you can look for a sell below 1951 as i said 1951-50 but you need to be very quick because stop loss hunting okay is much more possibility here okay exit by 47 48 quick selling opportunity will be a better one okay so these are the trading opportunities in case gold shows downside okay and right now gold is running inside the range so let's cons uh, discuss the other opportunity also so as i said 1964 is the upper level here and if we look at the chart carefully then you can see the market is hitting the resistance okay um, uh, four to five times okay market is trying its best to cross the level here and whenever market is coming down you can see that market is also not breaking the previous low here it means that buyers in the market are trying their best to take the market up market is not purely sideways here Okay, market is not testing the support level resistance level rather market is trying uh, market is uh, stuck inside a range and market is trying to break the resistance all the time so there's a poss good possibility that market will also break the resistance and move higher as i already said uh, yesterday that there is a uh, high chance that because of the trend reversal on the chart market will continue the upside and market will head towards 1980 to, uh, to 2000 level in the next coming days or next coming weeks i'm not saying the market will hit 2000 level today okay in the next coming weeks but as of now market will have to cross 1964 level then only the road will be clear in case market breaks 1964 during that day there's a high chance also you can look for a buy position above 1964 and those who are already holding buy position be on the trade no need to exit just watch the market and make some more money because market is bullish and high chance that you will be making more money just you need to wait for the market to uh, break this resistance here okay and today we also have a news coming up during the u.s session consumer sentiment is not a big event so i'm not expecting the market too volatile but still beginners you can be careful okay oh so that's all from my side my dear friends today is friday do not make uh, do not make any uh, silly mistake do not take any bad trade only take a trade when you see the opportunity is right be a trader not a gambler this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so please follow proper risk management bye bye take care see ya tomorrow